I recorded What About Us. And I seriously, I was hangover as F. Hi guys, welcome to this rather unordinary video where I'm going to look back to my past videos and my YouTube career with you guys and behind the scenes to celebrate that my family has grown to 1 million subscribers. I'm so thankful, I'm so happy. I'd never expected that this would happen and I just want to share it with you guys. Quick disclaim, I'm here alone with Gio, my camera guy. Gio, say hi. hi. <laughs> Keeping six feet distance. Um, this is my own laptop, so I'm not touching any of Gio's shit just to stay safe and healthy. You all might hear my accent. I'm a super Dutchy Dutch girl. I'll try to speak English the best I can, um, but we'll probably need some subtitles. So this morning I asked you guys on my Instagram story if you have any questions about my YouTube videos or me recording covers or my YouTube experience in general. And you guys came up with a bunch. I screenshotted some of your questions. I'm gonna answer them um, in the video, I guess. <laughs> Since April the 3rd, 2017, we uploaded a cover every Monday. We haven't missed one Monday. I'm just gonna share some inside stories of recording these covers. And I thought, well, let's start with my first cover of all time, Rockabye by Clean Bandit, Sean Paul and Marie. I was super, 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 super excited, nervous, kind of ashamed, I guess. And we had no idea what we we're going to do, but we thought, well, let's do it, let's record it. We're gonna watch this real quick. I already have like the funniest inside story of this. I'm Davina, and this is my cover of Rockabye. I hope you like it. I was so cute. By the water. Here. You see me and Sebastian. Sebastian is uh, on the guitar. He's also my boyfriend. I think we date, started dating like a few months before this video was taken. I wanted him to be on the video because he's playing the guitar, of course. But he wasn't wearing any shoes. He was just on his socks. And I said, well, you're gonna put on your shoes because I'm not having you in socks on this video. So put on a shoe. And he was so stubborn. He actually only put on one shoe. I don't know if, <laughs> if anyone... <laughs> If, <laughs> Let's see if we have a matching question. By the way, I've not prepped this video at all, if it's uh, kind of chaotic. <laughs> so I got a lot of questions on how I pick my covers. I pick them myself. I do with Noah. Noah's my piano guy. First, I just go on Spotify new release or viral or top 50 and I check songs that are um, going viral or that are popular or from big artists, songs that will probably be watched a lot on YouTube uh, or listened to on Spotify, so popular songs. The most important part is I have to like the song, it has to fit my voice. Were you afraid of starting with YouTube? Gosh, yes, I was so afraid. I was just so scared that um, what people might think. You're super vulnerable on the internet. I was very, very afraid of what classmates or people that I kind of knew uh, were thinking. I still recall this one friend actually saying to me after like the third YouTube video, he said, are you seriously going to continue doing this every week? Don't you have anything serious to do? That's actually what he told me. And I was like, um, yes, I guess I'm going, yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess. I was super insecure, but I am very, very happy that I went through and that I continued doing what I love. Um, and that's why I'm here right now. It's time for a question because I see this cover that I seriously need to talk to you guys about. Let's see. What experience from a YouTube video that you made would you like to relive? Well, what experience? Yeah, well, definitely me recording the cover of What About Us. <laughs> definitely. Um, I think most of you guys are familiar with that story. I recorded What About Us, like the, the vocals, and it was probably the quickest I've ever recorded any vocals. And then I recorded the video with Gio a few days later and I seriously, I was hangover as F. Best friend celebrated her birthday the night before. Um, so that's why my hair is looking all my eyes are like Bleh. I think back then I had like 12K subscribers, I guess. I'm looking at Gio right now, my staticalist, something like that and then Pink came, uh, I think we should watch this video. It's not my content, but I think we should definitely watch this. Oh, Pink watches fan covers on YouTube, that's it. What about us? I don't want control, I want 
So this happened. I love this part. Holy shit. That's better than I will ever sound. That was when the video was uploaded, it kind of went viral. I got a lot of attention. I got to perform on the biggest stage in the Netherlands, and it, it did so much for me. And I got to meet her. Actually, now I know how it's supposed to sound. Is she like a recording artist that makes <laughs> records and puts records out? OK, well, that, that needs, needs to change. change. So that changed everything. I was like, okay, let's go. Let's write songs, let's create music, let's put anything out there. We wrote a few songs, but my first came straight from my heart was Skyward. Then I released Better Now, I released Beat Me a few months ago. And it's been such a different world being an actual recording artist and writing your own music and releasing own music. I got a question, how long it took me to write Beat Me? Well, I think like to write the lyrics, like a few weeks and it was at all different stages of emotion. <laughs> like I was sad, I was happy, I was excited, I was angry, I was anxious, I had everything because it's so different to actually create your own work. When I record a cover and I get judged, I get judged over my voice. If someone doesn't like the song, that's not my problem because it's not my song. I always feel super vulnerable when I release own music because it's a piece of me, and if people don't like it, they don't like a piece of me. And I feel, ugh, I don't know, I, feel, I just feel judged, I guess. I love to write music, I love to release my own music, I love to promote it and be on stages and perform my own songs and have people singing the lyrics that I worked on so hard with me, and that's probably the most amazing part of being a recording artist. Working on an album right now comes this summer, promoting myself here. Let's watch this one. Y'all have to meet Marcus. Marcus is also a guy from my team, and he's a bass player. He's amazing. Marcus! Okay, cringe. When I look back at my old covers and I listen to my voice or I listen to my accent, I think there has been some progression. Especially when I listen to this song, I'm like, ah! Okay, next. I was super ill this cover. You have to, wait, let's check this. Something must have gone Flip the hair. You heard a nasal sound. Could try to run, but it will be useless. You're the play. Just one hit of you, I know I'll never, ever, ever be the same. Next. What was your least favorite song to film? Well, I have favorites. I have least favorites. It probably was These Days by Rudimental, Jess Glenn, Feed, Feed Jess Glenn and Macklemore, I guess. And then Kaplan. <laughs> Do I pronounce it right? This song gave me so much aggression to record. To be honest, at one point recording, while well, recording it with Noah, I seriously had to go outside, lie in the grass, because I seriously wanted to break something in there. Cigarettes in the ashtray, reminiscing on those past days. I thought you'd end up with my last name, but do you hear that cracking in my voice? I was almost crying. That's what you hear. End up with my last name, but that nine, I'm like, ah. Next, positive vibes here. Something that I love to record. One Kiss, Calvin Harris, Dua Lipa. I love to record that song. Love Dua Lipa, love Calvin, Har Calvin Harris. This tune though. Hi guys, I'm Davina Miko. At some point we were like, cut the tune, whatever, it takes too long. And it's super loud. It's so innocent. I'm taking that I love real easy. And I know that you still want to see me. Something in you. <laughs> let up heaven in me. That attitude, girl. The feeling won't let me sleep. Cause I'm lost in the way you move, the way you feel. All kisses are the text. Who's eating your wop? I love this cover. Oh, this one, High Hopes, Panic at the Disco. I had a hard day, I was not feeling well, I was super tired, I had a very busy week. 
I think we recorded this one like late at night. Seriously, at one point I have my hands down my pockets, in my pockets. Check this. My hair, I look like a rat. I was just not in the mood. I'm waiting for the pocket moment. Yeah, there! Why are my hands in my pockets? Why did I do that? Gio, why didn't you say something? I'm going to check the comments for a sec. Actually, someone is saying, I love how she's singing with her hands in her pockets like an awkward high schooler at prom. <laughs> Thank you, next. Ooh, I actually got a question in Dutch. Let me translate it real quick. Can you maybe make a video of what happens behind the scenes? Well, I'm gonna film this right now so y'all can see what my set looks like. So this is where I'm sitting right now. That's Gio, hi Gio. And that, this is like my, there's a lamp. There's the fake ass plant. Look, seriously, look at this pot. Look at this pot. <laughs> and it's a total war zone here. So that's actually what is happening right now. This video is so random. I'm just, I'm not even like, I don't have a script. I don't have a plan. Another question, what has been the most career-defining point in your career so far? Well, that's probably when I wrote um, and released Skyward. I was so tired here, and that's all Gio's fault. Gio actually rented uh, an Airbnb the night before we shoot the video of Skyward. But what Gio didn't know is that with Airbnb, you can also rent uh, like a shared apartment so you can like stay in a room in someone's home. But we, we thought that we, we were going to arrive in a, just a, like a private home or a private apartment so we could just crash for the night. We opened the door, we saw like a laptop open and we saw food in the fridge. No one was home. It was actually like pajamas on the bed from someone else and we were like, oh my gosh. So eventually Gio and I had to like, <laughs> there was this one room, super tiny room. We had to sleep together. Oh, that sounds so horny. In the middle of the night, I had to pee. <laughs> but Gio has, had blocked the door with flight case to make sure that that creepy guy that lived there wouldn't like come in and rape him. <laughs> so I was like climbing on top of all those flight cases trying to open the door. But there was someone in the house at that point. I had no idea who it was and what his intentions were. So I was just scared and eventually I broke one toe. No, it went fine. It went fine. Uh, I slept like two hours and then I had to be on set at I think like 7 a.m. So great story. I was tired. Hoe is het om als Nederlander Engelse video's te maken en alles in het Engels te moeten doen op Insta? It's kind of hard because when you you're trying to say something fast or quick or just speaking your mind, you have to think about everything you're saying because it's not that it doesn't flow out of my mouth naturally, I guess. Um, I've been working on it. I've been listening to myself a lot. I love just being able to communicate with people all over the world. My accent actually just annoys me, but I kind of accept it that I sound like a flat Dutch farmer girl. <laughs> and I have a very low voice. What else do we have? Oh yeah, I also did uh, a cover while I was in Curaçao for a show. What? 2.7 million, that's crazy. I probably got sunburned after this video because it was so hot. I've never seen anybody do the things you do before. They say, move for me, move for me, move for me, yeah. When you die, I'll make you do it all again. Ah, oh, we should watch the Better Now live. I got to support Pink's Beautiful Trauma World Tour show in the Netherlands. So amazing. It was like 60,000 people watching my bougie ass. And this was amazing. I feel you breathing down my neck when I want stays. I told you I was you, but nothing changed. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? You can wrap your arms around me, that's 
So let's do a final question. Do you have any tips for undiscovered talented people? Just do it, record yourself, listen back to it, reflect on yourself, do it better every time you do it. I, if, now if I look back at my covers of three years ago, I see such uh, an insecure and an anxious girl. I still have those issues, but I have learned so much from just doing it. And I have had so many videos, I was like, oh no, I don't like this, I don't know, what are people gonna think? Uh -uh. Yeah, just do it. Okay guys, that's it. I've watched a lot of old videos. I've answered questions. Thank you so much for wanting to be part of my family and my journey. And I love you guys so much and you're all so positive and I love your comments. I read all your comments. I don't always respond, um, but I always read them. And I'm so thankful for your support. I love you all and stay safe. Bye.